Hello everyone, welcome to my review and demonstration from my Amiga W1Excellence WEI865WCS of different models like it's WEI865 or you call WEI865WCS on some other websites the WCS basically just means water control system so whether it's called WEI865 or WEI WEI eight six five WCS. It's the same machine, so it is. So let's go over the specs. This machine is a nine kilo washer with a sixteen hundred spin, and has an energy rating of A, which is the highest energy rating on today's market. With the fact that they've decided to ditch the A triple plus and all that malarkey. So let's go over what you get whenever you first um, get this machine. So obviously you get your manuals and stuff like that. Mega have a very in-depth manual if I just take it out of here for you. So this is the instruction book the machine comes with. So it is, if I just set that there for a wee second. As you can see, there is a whole bunch of pages in this and there's like 116 pages for you to read through if you want to. Amiga's um, manuals are really, really in-depth, so they are. Hence why there are so many pages on it. As you can see, it says the model number there. Um, so you get that with the machine. You also get a few other things. You come with like a wee um, tap connector if you don't have one of them on your um, tap that the hose connects to. Obviously, pretty much everybody has one of these anyway, so you don't really need it. So you don't. You also get, um, if we come over here, your energy labels, as I said, A rated. And there's your information there. A um spin drive performance nine kilo. Um Eco forty sixty takes three hours and nineteen with a full load. It uses forty eight liters and forty nine kilowatts per one hundred cycles. And as you can see there's some more information on that, such as like the model and stuff like that. And it's only sixty eight decibels on a full sixteen hundred RPM spin. It is a very quiet machine, so it is. You also get some information about the twin dose. I will go over the twin dose stuff after, so I will. The machine comes with a free two year warranty whenever you get it, so it does. And again, you have another um, EU energy label, it's basically the same. So it is, again, more, um, Instructional stuff about your warranties and guarantee stuff like that. How um an information leaflet on how to remove the transit bolts if I can get it out. The they use transit bars rather than bolts, and oh my gosh, they are so much easier to take out than transit bolts. You're not there for like an absolute duration trying to get the bolts out. And the machine also comes with six months worth of Mega Ultra Phase 1 and Ultra Phase 2. And that is on top of the fact the machine comes with um, two of them already in the machine, so it does. So you get four Ultra Phase 1s and three Ultra Phase 2s all together. You also get um, me free of Mega's cap, you get an Aqua Softener cap, a uh, Wool Care detergent cap, and a sportswear cap so you do so you do get a lot of extra stuff whenever you get this machine it is really nice that Mega include such a lot of stuff to basically welcome you thank you for buying one of their products it is something that quite a lot of brands don't do so it is really kind of them to do that you also get a spanner to um take the bolts well the, the bars out so you do so, if I move on to the machine now, if I open the door, you've got a really nice drum light. The drum light on this machine is really bright too. It has a white LED one and it's it's just perfect to be honest. It's really nice. 
they have a really bright drum light that is reliable too. I've had a machine, one particular machine in the past where the drum light on it broke in a day, so it did. Um, it's really nice that Mega have a really good high quality drum light in the machine. You get a 9 kilo drum in this machine, it is a really big drum. I have seen machines today and the, the 9 kilos and even 10 kilo machines look absolutely miniature. So they do, um, it is a really good depth to the drums so there is. Although I think that some brands are like starting to make like the drum a lot wider and that's why they're not as deep. But it is nice that Mega have a really nice big drum that's really easy to load. I do prefer a deeper drum over a wider one personally, it's just me, I think. You do get stainless steel paddles rather than plastic ones so they won't break or anything like that while you have the machine. One thing that's nice about this machine is that it has a stainless steel outer tub. Mega are the only brand on the market today that still produce machines with a stainless steel outer tub. All other brands do plastic tubs and stuff like that. So it is nice that Mega still have the um, tub like that, just like how they did years ago. You also have a wee fill nozzle, the water comes out of that, it basically just trickles out to be honest. Um, if it's filling through the pre-wash compartment and you also have a recirculation jet here because this machine is a power wash model. So basically throughout the cycle it will recirculate the water into the clothes and it really does help properly saturate the load quicker and does help with the cleaning performance so it does. The machine has also Power Wash 2.0, which is a really economical version of the Power Wash system, where it will use as little water as possible and heat it up underneath the drum. That then releases steam and it will heat the clothes up with the steam to basically wash them, heat the water that's inside the clothes that they've already absorbed. So it is really economical in that way, but it's not a system I perf personally like. It's too economical for me, to be honest. The machine does have a really nice and gentle honeycomb drum. So it does allow extra protection for your really delicate fabrics. It doesn't crease the clothes as much. And it's really soft too. It's not as um, rigid as some other drums that I've felt. So it isn't. You have a really nice sturdy door, as you can see. There's no flexing on that, so there isn't. Compared to other cheaper machines. So there isn't, and you do have your service details and stuff like that on the door there. The door shuts just normally, you just have to pull the open door and shuts like that. This machine has a really nice chrome door on it too. This is part of Mego's Chrome Edition models. They do have two versions, they have the Chrome Edition and they have the White Edition. Basically with the white edition it doesn't have as much chrome on it so it doesn't and uh, there's only like a wee small strip on it and the door opens from here rather than opening from like that. So they do have them. It's basically the same machine. Um, One of the models, I can't remember the model number. I think it's like WCI something. I'll have the model number wrote on the screen now so I will. Um, the variant that in the white edition but the only difference with that one is that there is no drum light so there isn't if i come over to the drawer me will have a really good sized drawer quite a lot of brands are starting to go towards small drawers so it is nice that me who do still have a nice big one so they do and you have your softener compartment there again me will do sell caps so they do so you basically just stick the cap in like that it push it down and it clicks in. This isn't like it fully clicked in, it's just if you click it in, then that's a bit harder to get out. So it is still not gonna push it fully in. And then you just push that down, pierce holes in it, and then it'll take that in at the right time, depending on what cap it is. They do the detergent caps, softener caps like this one, and a stain remover cap, and that can all be set on the machine. So it puts it in at the right time. You do have your pre-wash compartment and your main wash compartment. Mega do have the um, compartment names and text too. So if you don't know where um, anything goes, like quite a lot of people now to be honest, um, it is all written on the drawer. 
so that you know where everything goes. You also have a wee lever there and the drawer is really easy to pull out and clean. So it is, so it, and then you just push it in like that and it goes back in really nicely. So if we talk about the twin dose now, this machine has an auto dose system just under here. Um, as you get ultra phase one and ultra phase two of the machine. Ultra phase one is your main detergent and ultra phase two is basically a stain remover slash bleaching agent, so it is. So these in conjunction with each other really do help with the comp the performance. The ultra phase one goes in at the start of the cycle and then the ultra phase two would go in about halfway through the main wash once it's um, heated the water a bit or if you're on cold then it's just halfway through the wash. So it does and I have noticed a big difference um, in clinging performance with these on the shorter cycles. So they do cling really well on tough stubborn stains even on like a one hour cycle. You have your wee buttons here so they just, if I push it in, it's a bit awkward. Um, you just push it in like that and then you get, um, it comes out. That one is nearly done. I think I'd get like one wash out of it. And then you have your dosages there on the side for um, how much to set the machine to. Um, the machine does come up with um, information on the display too. So like whenever I pop that one back in, it will come up asking if it's replaced. No, it's not. And then it just simply closes over like that. So it does, um, you can set your windows, as I was saying, on the display, you can turn it off or you can have it on. You can change in the settings too. You can use your own stuff if you want to. You can have a detergent and a softener in there, so you can. And then you can just set that in the settings and then we're, rather than coming up with whites and colors, it comes up with one and two on the display instead, so it does. If I come to here, these are the machine's filters. Yes, this machine does have two filters because of the recirculation system. Mila are the only one that, the only brand that have two filters on their machines if it has a jet system. It does allow extra, extra protection against like fluff and stuff like that. For the jet system, I've seen machines where they only have one filter and the jet system or like the um mixing the detergent mixing system if it if the machine uses that instead where that would block up with fluff and basically completely conk out the system and break it so or blo just block it up so it is nice that mega do have two filters so it is and they're really easy to cling to as this is elevated as well so it doesn't have an emergency drain hose or anything like that because of the fact that they are higher up and it is really easy just to empty them you also have in there a wee orange tab as you can see that's um an emergency door release if you have a power cut or something like that or the machine breaks and you need to get the door open and the machine has no power you just pull that wee, um wee release tab and then it unlocks the door for you so if I just shut that, it shuts with a simple click. Come over to the display. Now, this machine has a whole load of programs and stuff like that. This is Mila's mid to top end machine. So it is, it's actually um, the highest model that still has a dial on it. So it is, after this, you have, if you go up one more step, you have the M touch models, which is basically a full touch screen. So it is, rather than having a dial or anything like that. On the display, you can change things like your temperature for the wash. You can change your spin speed. As I said, the maximum spin is 1600. And you also have a rinse hold option too, so you do. It's a shame that they don't loop around though, but it doesn't bother me too much, so it doesn't. And you do have your time remaining there. The times for the cycles are for full load. And Migos do have a really short time for the washes. For example, like a cotton's wash there is like two and a half hours. Whoops, that's a single wash. Whoops, <laughs> accidentally leaned on that by accident. So it's like two and a half hours for a wash. And then if you go down the temperature, it's like 239. I've seen machines on today's market where they start the cycle and it says like 
one hour fifteen or something like that. And then if they detect the if they detect the full load, the cycle jumps up to like three and a half hours. So it is nice that Mega do still have relatively short cycles compared to a lot of other brands on the market. You may have noticed that the time did go up a wee bit there, like whenever I had the 60 option on. The machine does have the old style Cotton's Eco programs built into the machine. as They can't directly name the cycle Cotton's Eco anymore because of the new law. You're not allowed to name a cycle Eco, Normal or Daily. Apart from the Eco 4060 it can be called Eco but no other. Um, Cycles or options are allowed to be called right to be called that. So it is nice that Mega do have the old um cotton seco hidden on the machine. Well not really hidden, but you get what I mean. You do have a few options on the display. So you do have a single wash that's accidentally pressed there. That's basically um a wash that's dedicated for washing a really, really small load of washing that uses very little water and is a lot shorter cycle so it is and it's just tailored for that it is nice that Mega have that option i have sig machines that use too much water when it and stuff like that whenever they're washing really small loads whereas with this one with the single wash option it's absolutely perfect you also have a pre-ironing option that will basically add a steam phase to the end of the cycle the steam on this, oh my gosh, it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. It's so nice to finally have a machine that can do the steam phase properly. I, every single other machine that I've had has done the steam phase absolutely horrendously. So it has, it's boiled the clothes on every other machine and sometimes not even created steam at all. I tried out um, the pre-ironing option literally just yesterday at the time of me filming this. And whenever you open the door at the end, oh my gosh, it's already filled with steam. So it is whenever you open it up, it's something that my last machine didn't have whenever it done it. And you couldn't pick whenever the machine done the steam phase either, but I'll get on to that in a wee second. You can decide when you want the steam phase to be, so you can with this machine. You also have a water plus option. You can change what the water plus does in the settings, which I'll go over in a minute so I will. So I have it set to um, water plus and extra rinse. You can have it set to just what add extra water, add an extra rinse. So like I've got it set add both. And you can change the levels of, that that does too. If we go into the extras menu, you have a quick option. So you do to shorten down the wash time. You have a stain option. It does like a pre-wash at the start, I think. And it heavily increases the time. It's something I haven't tried on it yet. You do have a pre-wash option, a soak option. Not the duration for that can be changed from anywhere between 30 minutes and a six hour soak. So you can. Intensive, it increases the wash time a bit. It allows time for more heating too. And if you have a smaller load, it doesn't reduce the time as much. For example, on a standard cotton 40, if you do a half load, it goes from like 2 hours 39 minutes and drops it down right down to an hour and 11 if there's a small load in it. Whereas if intensive is on it normally only takes off about 30 to 40 minutes max. So it does. You have an extra quiet option and that will do a rinse hold at the end of the cycle. It tailors the wash action to you and doesn't do as fast spins. Um, throughout the cycle and then it, like it said there it stops at rinse hold you have an extra gentle option if you have like delicate items that need a little bit of extra care or they're only lightly soiled and it won't be as vigorous wash, wash action a largo wash is what i was saying about the steam phase a largo wash does the steam phase at um just after the first spin after the main wash so it does it also changes the the amount of heating that it does as well. It does also boost the temperature a wee bit, so it does a wee bit higher than you select, depending on the load. Um, the temperatures are all varied by the machine, depending on the load size too sometimes. 
But with the extra options, once you get used to it, it like changes it, it can make it like more um, accurate. So it does sometimes. Although it's not really too bad with the temperature, it hits it like the majority, the vast majority of the time it will do what you set. But there would be some times where it might be like eco-friendly and not heat as much. It's just a thing with modern machines, so it is. And you can have pre-ironing on as well with a Largo wash, so you can. So it'll do the steam, a steam phase at the, after the main wash and it'll also do the steam, a steam phase again at the very end of the cycle. You also have this wee eye with a leaf button. This is your the machine's eco feedback. So it tells you how much energy and water it estimates it's going to use. While a cycle is running, you can actually check this and it tells you the exact amounts of energy and water that the machine has been using. So it is fantastic that way. If I turn twin dose on, you can change the soiling level for the twin dose so you can from heavy to normal and light. And you also have a delay start. You can change this in one hour intervals right up to 24 hours. And then it loops around and you can also change it in 15 minute increments. So you can say set it to start in three hours, 45 minutes press start and then it'll start in three hours and 45 minutes and then as i was saying it does have that cap button if you are using mila's own detergent and softeners so it does so it knows whenever to stick the stuff in at the right time this machine has a total of 20 something programs i think it's like 21 or something like that you do get the likes of your minimum iron, which is a synthetic wash, delicates, woolens, silks, shirts, um, quick power wash. It's a really good quick cycle, so it is. And it's also really flexible too. Like you can do that a 60 wash in 49 minutes. And you can also make it a little bit longer and make it into an one hour 15 cycle, which is really good for bigger loads. You do have a dark garments slash denim. Eco 4060, that's like I said, the energy rating program. It determines the temperature based on the load that's in it. So it might do a colder wash if you haven't got much in it. And then it might do like a 40 degree wash if you do have um, a full load in it. You also have a proofing cycle to reproof like wet garments and stuff like that, like coats and stuff. It is nice that Mila have that on their machines. Mila are like the only one that have a proofing cycle, I'm pretty sure. You also have a further programs section on the dial. So you do have like a good few extra um, programs on this too. So like you have a cotton's hygiene wash and that would boost the temperature a bit. For example, on a 60 degree wash, it does uh, it heats to up to about 67 and then holds it there for the duration of the wash to kill as much bacteria and stuff like that as possible. To get back you do have to um, turn the dial off um, for other programs and then turn it back to it. You have an outer wear cycle for like coats and stuff. Express 20 minute wash. It's, it's not really the best to be honest I don't like it but that's just me. <laughs> I don't really use express washes anyway, so I don't, they're just not for me. Sportswear Automatic Plus. This is basically a cycle for a mixed load. So it is, so it will adjust the temperature and the spin speed depending on what you're washing. So if it detects like a um, synthetic load, it might only do like a 30 degree wash with a 1200 spin. And if it detects a cotton load, then it'll do like a 40 degree wash with a 1400 spin. It does all change it, like depend even if you don't um, change it yourself, the machine changes it for you. But like if you have it on like a 30 degree wash, it wouldn't heat over 30 or anything like that. So it wouldn't, at least I don't think it would. Pretty sure it wouldn't, really. <laughs> you also have a pillows wash, curtains, Downfilled items, first wash for new garments that you've just bought, down duvets, separate rinse slash starch, just a rinse and spin, drain and spin. You also have a maintenance section. So you have a clean machine cycle, the drum clean. 
So you do a, a 33 minute refresh cycle to clean it out. Or if your machine's really dirty, you can turn off quick and it does a longer clean, clean so it does a more intensive one. So it is nice that it has that too. And you also have a twin dose maintenance. So you can buy like the, these twin dose care bottles from Mila themselves and it will basically flush this um, cleaning agent through the twin dose system and clean any residual detergent that's been left in the piping and stuff like that. So it ha does do that. As I said, you do have a sentence menu. You can change absolutely everything that you want with this machine from like the buzzer and stuff like that. As you can see, your tongues, um, it does have like a total consumption from like the previous program that you've used. As like I said, it does keep track of the stuff or I can display the total consumption that the machines used all together. And then you can reset that so you can. Maybe if you want to check like how much energy you've used in a month, if you want to be like really particular like about your energy savings, then you can check that up on the machine. It does have a code, so like you have to enter a pin to start a wash, so it like stops people from actually turning the machine on whenever you do not want it on. No, you can turn it on. You can change the um, units between degrees Celsius and degrees Fahrenheit. So you can um, you can adjust the brightness for the display, the buttons that are for the active options, and the buttons that are inactive. So you can. You also have a display switch off status. Um, this machine comes with this turned on permanently. What that does is it basically makes the display go completely blank 10 minutes after the machine has been running and there hasn't been any buttons pressed. So to check the time, if you like come into the kitchen or your utility room or whatever, you want to check the time, you have to press the start button and then the display comes back on. Again, but I have it set to not in current program or you can have it completely off. So even like if the machine isn't running, it'll stay on. So it will. Program info, you can change that too. So whenever you turn the cycle, as you've seen, it tells you the program name and max load. Or you can have that off or just program name. So it is really variable in that way. It does have a memory function. So it does, if you're the type of person who only uses one cycle, say like cottons with the quick quicker option activated, you can make the machine remember the cycle. Now this isn't like saving um, a favorite option or anything like that. It will remember the last cycle that you've done on each individual cycle, so it does, rather than having like a favorites menu or something like that. It does boot you out of the sentence menu like after 45 seconds of not touching any buttons. Can be a wee bit annoying, but it's not too bad. You can change the pre-wash duration, soak duration, like I said. You can have the gentle action permanently on on cottons and minimum iron. You can set the machine to only heat to um, 80 degrees max if you live at a high altitude. So that because of the 80 degrees is boiling point for water at, in like mountains and stuff like that. Like I said, you can change what the water plus does as well. And you can change the level in four different steps. So you can have normal plus one, plus two or plus three. You can have maximum rinse level permanently on so it does deep rinses all the time. You can have suds cooling on so if you do a hot wash it will cool the, cool the water down before draining it all out. Low water pressure is just like it says if you have low water pressure. Then you can program the amp decrease. It does a 30 minute tumble at the end of the cycle once it's finished. Just to keep the garments from creasing up so it does. And then once it's done, it just tells you to press start, but you can have that turn permanently turned off if you want to. Don't know why you'd have it turned off, to be honest, but you can do that. The machine does have mobile connectivity, so it does to your smartphone. So it is really nice that Mega do have that. It's controlled on Wi-Fi, so you can change the, the way it's like remote controlled. You can turn it on or off. So you can, that's what that is. Smart grid, you can get a, you can set it up to a delay start so you can. And the machine basically gets a signal from your energy provider 
whenever the energy in, the, in your area is at its cheapest for the day. And then the machine will start at that specific time, so it will. And yes, this machine is like a phone. You do get up, um, updates every now and then. I haven't had one yet in the two and a half months I've had this machine. But I do believe that me will update their machines. It's basically yearly, to be honest. I'm pretty sure and then that's the end of the sentence, so it is. Of course, you can't change the language and all that too. So it is such a lovely machine. Um, if I go to the mobile start, I will show you that now. Right, so as I was saying, with the mobile start, you can completely control the machine on your phone so you can. So you can start a cycle from your phone. You do have a washing assistant and you can set the cycle, whatever you want, so you can. Just on your phone, there isn't that many downloaded cycles or anything like that on it, so it doesn't have that. But at the same time, a lot of machines that do have downloaded cycles are basically just copy and pasted from the cycles that are already on the machine and are just given a different name. So there isn't really any point in it having it anyway. If I show, like, you can start like a cotton's wash on it if you want to. You can change your options so you can. Um, Twindows with it um, through the app that Windows has to be on for some reason. I don't understand why there's no way to... Oh! Hang on. I take that back. I take that back. I thought that Windows had to be permanently on on it. So yeah, it doesn't have to be permanently on. <laughs> I've had this machine for two and a half months and you see I'm still learning stuff about it. Um, but yeah, you can change like your cap dose in two if you want to. And you do have extras on here. The only extra um, option that the machine does have that isn't on the machine is an eco option. It is weird how the machine doesn't have it on um, the thing it's that itself, but it does have it on the app. Steam smoothing is just pre ironing so it is, it's given a different name in the app. It does also tell you what time the cycle is expected to finish at as well, so it is. And of course it does tell you the estimated water and energy consumption. So if I come out of this, the app is really good too. Um, uh, with my last machine, I kind of lost the trust in the smart apps because the app from my last machine was so bad that it actually completely... Um, corrupted the machine's PCBs and broke it. So it did, but it is nice that Mega have a really good app. I've had it for, as I said, two and a half months and it's been grand on the app. I have used it a few times. The machine does send notifications once the cycle is done through the app too. It is a really nice touch that they have. Um, just to show you like how it works. So for example, I'll put it on a drain, and I'll just put it on a separate drain so I will, with no spin. So you literally just like come over and tells you like what time it finishes at. Simple booty boop start and the machine is away. Obviously you can do it on any cycle with your machine, you can do it whenever you're out, you can control it while you're out because of the fact that it's pure Wi-Fi. It is really quiet too. As you can see. You do also have your Windows status and stuff like that. I took good detergent out one of the times, so that's why it thinks it's full. Even though it doesn't, I do need to change that, so I do. And then you'll notice there, it gives you a notification all saying that the washing's ready. And you can even stop it from the app, just like that. So yeah, it's such a nice touch that it has that. The app is really good, as I said. It's really responsive too, so it is. Uh, um, I've seen other apps that either don't have much of the machine's flexibility, they don't allow any options that are on the machine. 
3D to be selected 3D app or they just take a long time and they're really glitchy the apps. So it is nice that Migos app is pretty much perfected. You can also order your detergents and softener and stuff like that that Migos sell from the app too. So you can, although with if you live in the likes of Northern Ireland, you can't do it unfortunately. It's only like mainland UK or like in um, Republic of Ireland that you can get detergent and all from the app. But if you live in Northern Ireland, unfortunately, you're left out. Uh, but it is what it is. So, yeah, overall, like, I really do like this machine. It's easily one of, if no, honestly, it's the best machine I've had, to be honest. So it is. It hasn't um, made me dislike it in the two and a half months I've had it, which is impressive. I normally do like pick out um, wee things. So like for like some of the cons, like I said, the power wash 2.0, it's way too efficient. And it's something that the machine has that I know that a lot of people will not like, because I know that people do prefer to have the machine working with quite a lot of water, well, a decent amount. One good thing about it is though, that the power wash 2.0 can be completely turned off for a hidden mode that's on the machine. So I have permanently switched it off on this one. So I have and you can also deactivate it by using like water plus and things like that and even like the likes of intensive I think stops it from doing the power wash 2.0. But it's yeah it's not something I like so it isn't. The drawer now I don't know what it is about the drawer, but like powder gets stuck so easily in the drawer for some reason. So it does, it's definitely like the worst for it out of all the machines I've had. It doesn't bother me too much. You, you just have to chuck a jug of water down if you're using washing powder. I don't really use washing powder too often either, so it's not really an issue for me. And I do have really low water pressure as well, so that contributes to it. But if you're, if you're the type of person who always uses washing powder, it is something to be made aware of. So it is. This isn't a con of the machine, but I do find with the caps, well, particularly like the nature ones, they get really thick. So they do like really, really thick for some reason. I don't really know why they do. It's like I had the aqua caps as well, and they were perf perfectly fine, but the nature ones... For some reason, yeah, they're just really thick for some reason. God knows why, like. But it doesn't bother me too much. I don't, wouldn't really use the nature, probably wouldn't use the nature ones again, to be honest. I would like to get the aqua ones again soon. Um, Another wee slight thing is the buzzer. The buzzer, um, it's, a, it's annoying. It's too repetitive. Way, way too repetitive. And there's no way to um, change the duration of the buzzer. It is something that the lower end ones have where you can actually make it so that the machine only buzzes three times once it's done. And then after that, it won't buzz again. If you have the machine on the um, anti-crease and you want, it, you want to leave it doing the anti-crease while, say, like the dryer's on, the machine constantly buzzes like every 10, 15 seconds. Even on the lowest volume, it's uh, an annoyance, so I've permanently turned it off. Although I will show you it with the buzzer um, on in the demonstration. That's basically all the bad things. Um, the twin dose, I do like. I do like the auto dose on this. It is shocking because quite a lot of the... I normally hate auto dose. Absolutely hate it on pretty much every machine. Although this machine doses perfectly. My last machine, whenever I had it, I live in a really soft water area and the machine didn't dose anywhere near enough detergent that it needed the vast majority of the time. And I had to set it to medium water hardness and even then sometimes it didn't dose enough detergent. It was a bit annoying to be honest. So it is nice that even with this all set up with me living in soft water, water and all, it's nice that it doses it perfectly, absolutely perfectly. So it does. One thing I actually forgot to mention about the mobile start, if you have a Mila dryer with the 
Wi-Fi function as well. The washer and dryer can actually talk to each other. It is something that's so advanced. So if you do a wash and the washing machine's finished, you go up to the dryer, um, the matching dryer, well, any Mego dryer with the mobile start has a wash to dry function. So if you have the washing machine and the tumble dryer both set up to your Wi-Fi, whenever a wash cycle's finished, it basically sends the data from the cycle to um, the Mego cloud. So it does, and if you go to the wash to dry cycle, it passes that information on from the Mega um, cloud onto the dryer. The dryer then picks the perfect program and the time that it believes that needs from like the spin and the amount of clothes that the machine detected and then it will dry accordingly. So it does, it is a, such a nice feature and it would be something I'd love to try out someday to be honest. Maybe sometime I would be lovely to show you how that would work and get to try it for myself. But yeah, that's really like the only bad things. Like obviously not that wash the dry thing, that's a really good thing. But overall the machine is excellent, so it is. So anyway, I may as well show you the machine running. So I may with a load. So let's get to it. Right, so it is a new day now. As you can see, I've got um, a load of um, mainly mixed general stuff and darks. There is some work stuff in here too. So as you can see, there is some stains on like these trousers, as you can see. So there is from um, a bakery. So let's turn the machine on. Yeah, okay, and get it loaded up. I think there's maybe a few stains on that. Maybe not though. Not in. So it isn't um, completely full, so it's not, it's a half load pretty much. So that's all fine. Shut the door. I am gonna use my um, twin dose detergent. I did recently change the ultra phase one as it was empty. Something I did, I think I forgot to say about um, the twin dose is that the cartridges are tilted backwards. Like they are tilted like forwards and um, towards the inside of the machine. So even though that one looks about empty, once that um, goes down and you can't see it, in reality, there's actually a quarter um, of a bottle still left in it. <laughs> so there is. Um, you do also get like reminders and all whenever the twin dose is almost empty and then whenever it's completely empty and you need to change it. So I'm gonna leave twin dose on. So I'll have on normal. I'm just gonna do a cotton's wash to show you what the machine's like. Um, my machine doesn't have Power Wash 2.0 on it uh, because of the fact I just straight up didn't like it. Oops, I need to pour it myself now. I just straight up didn't like it, so I didn't. So, as I said, like I've got it turned off, so I do. It just wasn't for me, so it's not, it's too eco-friendly. <laughs> so it is, for my liking. So, cottons, I'm gonna leave them 40 degrees, 1600. You do also have like a bunch of extras, but I'm not gonna select any things so I'm not. The machine estimates is gonna use four bars of energy and four bars of water. So, Yep, cottons, let's get going. As you can see, it comes up saying remote control possible if you have Wi-Fi, and then it does give you your cycle information on the display. So that's the detergent going in, not clicking, so it is. Turn 
But like you can barely hear the detergent going into the machine. Like for example, um, just to like to show you now a video of another machine that I had with all the dose in the drawer, and you can hear like the sound difference between this machine and that one. So the machine's um, nearly done and filling up, so it is. Like you could tell a big difference between the, the amount of noise this auto do system makes compared to my another machine I had, like, you really can. So once the machine is filled up, it'll start saturating the load like it is now, and it'll also start load sensing. So the cycle times, like I said, they are for full load, so they are. Um, you will notice in um, a few minutes time, the machine will have realised that there is a small load in it and it'll take off about an hour or more of this cycle so it will. Not only that but the machine will also send a notification to um, your phone to say that the, um, the duration of the cycle has been changed dependent because it's detected like a smaller load in it so it will. It is a really nice feature. Some cycles, no, times, they might only take off like 30 minutes or something like that or a really short amount of time. If it's a really short change in duration then the machine won't send um, a notification to the phone. So it won't, but if it's a big change like say around about an hour or even more than that then it will send a notification to um, your phone to say that it has been updated. And as you can see the ultra phase one is in so it is and uh, there's a few bubbles the ultra phase two then will go in slightly later on in the cycle so it will it doesn't go it's not a fabric softener now it is a bleaching agent so you do have to use your own fabric softener so you do with the machine but the ultra phase one and ultra phase two do work really good together with removing stains So as you can see there, the time is being updated to 1 hour and 11. And the machine will continue to wash now. Quite interesting though, not send a notification. It normally sends a notification, so it does whenever it does that. <laughs> Same as that today, it's decided not to. So it'll keep on washing now, so it will. If the machine has the PowerWash 2.0 on, then it will do the, it'll do a spin at the start to get this load all wet and it'll do the sensing then and like pretty much detect the load instantly. Whereas with it off, it does take it a little bit longer to complete the sensing, but it's not a big deal. Like it doesn't affect the cycle duration or anything like that. So it doesn't. So the machine will now do a detergent mixing phase. So it will, it will do a really fast distribution with the power wash on. As you can see the jet is really strong on it. Just to properly mix in all that detergent. And then it will start heating again so it will. Like the jet says, it is really quiet while it's in while it's in operation. So the machine has finished up heating the water so it has it has reached temperature and now it's using power wash consistently for I think it's around 20 minutes whenever it, de it detects a small load on this cycle so it is. The machine some depending on the load it will 
use it intermittently or consistently but because of it being on cottons with a small load it does use it consistently so it does with no reheating or anything like that but if it's a bigger load then it will turn it on and off for a period of like I want to say like over an hour to be honest and then I'll keep on reheating the water, temp hold and stuff like that. But like it does do a really nice wash, wash action too where it like speeds the drum up quite fast and then it slows back down again rather than tumbling at just one consistent speed. Like most other machines would do. Pretty sure that like the ultra phase two is in now as well. Although you can't, you never really know whenever it's going to go in. Sometimes, some cycles you do like, but others, no. <laughs> So it's on to its first spin of the, the main wash. Something about this machine is that if it detects a small load on say like cottons, it will do um, a slower speed for the interim spins. Whereas if it's um, a big load, it will do a faster interim spin between the rinses. So it will. As you can hear, it is very, very quiet while it's spinning. it does update as it moves on to the next stage of the cycle so it does it does have the fill jet too there like I said but it does you can see it kind of like just dribbles out of it so it does quite a lot of the cycles only do two rinses Although some of them, such as like dark garments, for example, would do free. So the weight, and then obviously you do have the water plus, which you can change into an extra rinse option if you want to, and then it will do free, free that. So it will. Rinse levels are all changed too, depending on the load and obviously the options and stuff like that. So notice now that the machine does have a lock symbol beside the status of the cycle so it does so obviously there's a add laundry button if the lock symbol isn't up you can touch the button and the machine will basically unlock the door and let you add in any extra items that you forgot you can also press one of the arrows and it tells you the program information there and you can check how much energy and water it's used for the cycle while it's running and then that will update um, live so it will as well and then also if you have like an extras or something on you can press it and it'll tell you what one you have selected same with if you change the soil level but because i have it on normal it's um, the default so it stays on the look
Right, so the cycle is just finished. As you can see there, I did get a notification for you to say the washing was ready. The reason I didn't get a notification about it um, put, taking the time down was because of my um, Wi-Fi. We've been, it's been going on and off lately, so it has, and it disconnected the machine from the app. So it did, and that's why it didn't send anything. I wasn't expecting the machine to spin something like that. And that's why it didn't spin as fast as it normally would because it restricted it to um, protect the machine. But the machine does handle the unbalanced spins really well whenever it does do something like that. I've had machines in the past that would go from this space here and walk straight into this wall because they can't handle un unbalanced spins well. So obviously it tells you to press the start button once it's done. And it tells you a total amount of energy and water. It does normally have a beeper, but I will turn that on whenever I go to spin these again. And show you what it's like at its full speed. But I mean, like, even with that slow, slower spin, they don't feel like really, really dripping wet. As even at that reduced speed, it isn't too reduced. So it isn't. I've had machines that reduce it way more and then the clothes come out soaking. But anyway, let's get just onto a training spin and show you what it's like at full speed. So this is the machine spinning at its full speed. It is probably lighter on camera, so it is, but it is ridiculously silent in real life compared to a lot of other machines on the market. So it is. It's a really powerful spin too, with it being 1600. Pretty sure it just come out like damp from it pretty much. And it spends a really long time at 1600, it spends a good few minutes at it, compared to other machines that will only spend like 30 seconds at like 1600. So it is really good in that aspect. Obviously the lengths are changed between the load size and what cycle it's on of course though. It really is silent, it doesn't even vibrate at all, so it doesn't. Yeah, they can feel like a wee tiny bit of shaking, but it's not like rocking or shaking at all on spin. It's just perfect. So that is the washing finish now, so it is. And I've got the buzzer on. So that's the buzzer that it has, and it does that every single every fifteen seconds. So it does, and it can go like that until you open the door. I do wish that there was a satin on it, as you can see. <laughs> I do wish that there was a satin on it where you could change it to only buzz three times, like what they have on the tumble dryers and also the bottom end washing machines that they do rather than going for the complete duration until you turn it off. If I come over to the app, the app you can still control the machine even though you don't have it on mobile start. So I can turn it off through the app there as you can see. But like I said, it doesn't stop buzzing until you actually open the door as you'll see. See, it keeps on going. Uh, but yeah, it can be um, quite repetitive, so it can. Yeah, like they literally just feel damp and nice to the day from that spin. It is fantastic, like, and obviously you do have to go for drum light. So, yeah, 
Overall, I give this machine a solid 9.5 out of 10. Uh, to be completely honest, I haven't been ha as happy as this with any other machine. It has really blown me away. It is so customizable, uh, yet so um, reliable too. Like the software on it, it doesn't glitch. It doesn't do any glitches or anything like that. It's really quiet on use. It's really sturdy as well. I really couldn't be happier with it, so I couldn't. Miwa's customer service as well is another bonus. Their customer service is absolutely amazing compared to another brand I dealt with whenever I was getting the machine refunded. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but um, I had been talking to Miwa whenever I got this machine, like even like the GOAT, I went to um, one of their experience centers, so I'd been in contact with them about that and also getting the twin dose sorted, sorted. And I also contacted them about spare parts for another Mego machine I'm currently fixing up. Their customer service, they responded to me pretty much straight away. So they did, and they were so um, friendly and helpful. It is absolutely unreal. Like I've never experienced customer service like theirs before in my life. One thing I will say though is if you do need to get in contact with Mega, if you have like Instagram or something like that, you're so much better going and contacting them on Instagram rather than contacting them on like an email or something. I do personally find I did personally find that they respond a bit faster on Instagram. Well, to me anyway they did. But yeah, like I'm so happy with this machine so I am, even with the few um, cons that it has. But I can live with those, so I can. So yeah, I do highly recommend this machine to pretty much anyone on the market who's willing to spend more on a really good, reliable machine. Obviously, like this machine is tested to last 20 years. The um, 20 year testing is based on doing 5 washes a week on a 1 to 2 hour cycle. So the machine is tested to last um, 10,000 operating hours. So it is. Even if you're like myself and do a whole load of washing, um, don't let yourself be put off thinking, oh, a Mila will only last as long as a regular 200 pound machine or something like that. The quality on this one is so much better than cheaper machines, even if you are going to use it a lot, just like myself, and it may not last the 20 years that I'm going to claim that it will. I personally don't think I'll get 20 years out of it, to be honest. Time will tell, of course, but especially not with like today's standards. But if I get more than nine months out of this machine, on like the three other machines I had before it that had um, issues like from the first week, I will be so happy. I'll, like, if I got eight years out of this machine, I'd be over the moon, so I would personally. But yeah, especially with today's standards, it's ridiculous the quality on a lot of other machines now. But yeah, highly recommend this machine to anyone. It is like the best machine I've ever used by far. Thank you all so much for watching, everyone. I really hope this um, review did help you make a decision. And if you did decide to go for this machine, I wish you all the best. It's, a, it's absolutely fantastic. Goodbye.